In this video, I want to talk you through the settings in Microsoft Forms when you're creating a feedback form or a survey. So just like most of the other Microsoft applications there, you're going to be looking for the three dots because that's going to give you more options and more useful things to go into. So I'm in event feedback here and if I click on the three dots, I can see I've got settings there. So we've got some options here when we send out this form as to how we gather the feedback in and who can do that. So the first option there, who can fill out this form? And these will probably be preset to whatever your company has set them at. But you can change them for every single form that you do. So I've currently got only people in my organisation can respond and it's going to record the name. So I can untick that if I want it to be anonymous. And there's times where you probably want that because you want to get some really honest feedback. And sometimes you might want to collect the name so you can go back and you can catch up with them and you can go through their feedback and fix any challenges or anything else that they've had with your event or your session or your product or whatever you're doing this form for. You can also allow one response per person. So it will pick up their IP and their name when they log into the form and it will stop them from sending in multiple replies. You can also say anyone with the link can respond. So you can send this to external people as well outside of your organisation. You've got some great controls there about who can access it and what information that is recorded when the form's filled in. You can as well, you can change options for responses. So you've got some options there and you have notifications as well. So you can get notifications when they've been filled in for yourself and each of the respondents as well. So you've got some nice notification message options available there as well and options for your responses to shuffle questions and set a start and an end date and a thank you message as well. So you're really just adding an extra bit of personalization to your form and your survey. You don't have to make any changes. If you're sending out a form to your organization and you wanna collect the name and get responses, then pretty much everything there is fine. I don't need to change it. I can just send out and share this form and sit back and wait for those responses to come in. But have a go and see if any of those options, any of those settings will make your form more relevant.